The first NASA probe to reach Mars beams back an iconic image. This is one of the most astonishing images in space exploration history. It looked like a face. You can see eye sockets, a nose, and a mouth structure. But when Viking takes more images to verify the phenomenon, the data gets buried somewhere in the NASA archives. It seems to me kind of impossible to lose pictures. And the mystery of the face on Mars becomes a conspiracy theory. It's easy to see why some people would become suspicious. Ever since NASA first carried man into space, the agency has taken a purely scientific approach to the question of whether we are alone in the universe. Its scientists subject any potential evidence to careful scrutiny before releasing information to the public. But sometimes the public makes up its own mind. July 1976. NASA's Viking 1 lander makes history as the first human spacecraft to touch down on the Martian surface. 1,000 miles up, the Viking orbiter scans the surface to find landing sites for subsequent Mars missions. The images it beams back to scientists on Earth show the red planet in unprecedented detail. And one picture sends shockwaves around the world. What came back was an astonishing array of valleys and mountains, but the most particularly interesting feature was a face that seemed to jump out of the photographs, looking out at Earth as if to, to say, we are here, we are here. It looked like a face. You could see eye sockets, a nose, and a mouth structure. It's impossible to look at that particular image without seeing a human face. NASA originally releases the photo of the face to the public to capture interest in space exploration. It works. Perhaps because the discovery of a face on Mars had already been predicted. Almost 20 years before Viking took its iconic photograph, legendary artist Jack Kirby produced a comic book called The Face on Mars. Jack Kirby's comic book speculated on a long dead race that had erected a face on Mars, which is why when a face on Mars was discovered, it really raised further speculation that we're not alone in this universe. If the face truly is a monument, it is so enormous, 18 football fields long, that it would be viewable only from the air or from space. Speculation that the face on Mars was left behind by creatures that used to live on Mars is not that far reaching. On Earth, we have things like Stonehenge and the pyramids. They're visible from the air. The public interest in the face on Mars turns to frenzy, and Viking program chief scientist Gerald Soffen issues a statement dismissing the anomaly as a trick of the light. Some say the face on Mars is just a creation of the human imagination. We're programmed as humans to recognize faces. We're really good at it. You know, evolutionarily, it's to our advantage to know who's the good guys and who's the bad guys. It's just very common, and we see faces all the time, everywhere. The only way for scientists to ascertain the true nature of the anomaly is to obtain more data. 35 days later, the Viking orbiter makes a second pass over the Cydonia region of Mars and takes another picture of the same area. And despite shooting from a completely different angle, the face is still clearly visible. If you look at this left-hand image, you can see the face with its shadow. But 35 days later, another photo of the same region was taken, and you see, again, the face but with a slightly shorter shadow, meaning the sun was at a different angle. So the question is, are these naturally occurring, or are they artificial? This second image seems to offer confirmation that the face on Mars is not just a trick of the light. Because if the shape was only formed by shadows, it would not be visible from a different angle in different light conditions. But for some reason, this image does not reach the public. It only emerges four years later when two image processing experts conduct their own search 
through old Mars mission data. When a second image of the face is discovered later, among supposedly misfiled data, it all begins to smell a little funny. NASA maintains that the images were available to the public, but the methods of archiving and preservation may have made them hard to access. They all get stored on tapes, multiple copies of tapes get made, they get archived in multiple locations. It seems to me kind of impossible to lose pictures. For more than 20 years, conspiracy theorists accuse NASA of ignoring demands for further investigation of the face. But in 1998, a spokesman for the Mars Exploration Program makes a surprise announcement. Jim Garvin, who was a senior scientist on the mission to explore Mars, said that the face on Mars was the number one priority. NASA's willingness to expend valuable resources on something they've already dismissed as unimportant arouses suspicion in some quarters. What was the significance? Why was it going to such extraordinary lengths to look at this face? Perhaps NASA believed itself that this was an artificial construct of some sort. Even though the resolution is 10 times sharper than in the 1970s, NASA's 1998 photograph doesn't provide an answer to the mystery that satisfies everyone. Some people are suggesting that NASA doctored the image to hide the face on Mars. It was taken during the Martian winter. There was some cloud cover that was obscuring a few of the details. And the light and the photo itself are from slightly different angles. So it wasn't a direct comparison to the previous photos. In 2001, NASA makes a final attempt to solve the mystery. The Mars Global Surveyor Probe takes another image from directly overhead. NASA broke down to public demand. They finally just tasked the satellite to take an exact close-up image of that area. NASA technicians merged the latest shot with the previous images to build a three-dimensional model. Take those images of different perspective, put them into a computer. You can go from, this is a flat thing on a piece of paper seen in the 1970s. Now, it's real. NASA's 3D image provides conclusive proof that the face on Mars isn't a face at all. In fact, it is a beautiful mountain, a geologic feature uh, with eroding slopes. Ultimately, the mystery of the face on Mars was the product of primitive imaging techniques from the early days of space exploration.